Ready? Ready. Well, that was a nice relaxing morning. But now. Heading back to the airport. Luckily, everything goes smooth. We're going to El Salvador. This is a day that we've waited months for. So now that we're staying put for a while and we're near a major airport, we figured this is the perfect time. Just went through security, had some minor PTSD after the last flight we went on. I know, he was like really, really looking at that good. But we're good. So for those of you guys who are new around here, let me kind of catch you up on what the heck has been going on. So we went to El Salvador probably about four months ago. We went into the city of San Salvador because our laptop broke and we needed a new one. So we went and got a new one, got scammed a little bit. We left El Salvador. The president tweeted out our video of going in, into San Salvador and offered to buy us a new laptop, which we have in our backpack right now. So we've gotten so many messages from the El Salvadorian people. Uh, we've gotten hundreds and hundreds of emails, hundreds and hundreds of Instagram messages, hundreds and hundreds of comments, and so many of them, oh, I just got super blown out. And so many of them are from El Salvadorians saying thank you for sharing my country. So we're going back to El Salvador and we're going to meet as many El Salvadorians as we can and say thank you back. you remember this guy this is Salva Hola. and the only reason we're here in El Salvador right now the only reason we went to San Salvador the only reason any of this happened is this guy walked up to us on the beach it was like it was almost like uh, when you see a, a girl for the destiny. first time oh man and that it, was like meant to be it was, like ah. meant to, it was like a perfect sunset Salva comes walking up <laughs> to us on the beach he's like hey I want to take you to San Salvador I was thinking about it I remember that I saw these guys the first day hiking Santana volcano yeah oh that's right you and did I saw that. but I was working with clients so I didn't have the chance but I saw you with professional cameras and microphones so I was yeah. like these guys either are bloggers or <laughs> journalists you know <laughs> and the next day I saw them doing Ruta de las Flores yeah and the third day you were in my town so it's like come on I, gotta talk to these I, I have to go there and talk to them so yeah welcome back to El Salvador <laughs> <laughs> So since the new president came in, president, or fun note, it's actually pronounced Nijiv. So Mr. President, we're sorry, we've been pronouncing it wrong. Even though it's spelt, an American would pronounce it Naib. The correct pronunciation is Nijiv. Since President Nijiv took office, there's been a huge effort to transform El Salvador. And one of their big focuses is tourism. So we're going to meet the person now who's in charge of making that change here. Go first. Hola. Mucho gusto. Igualmente, ¿cómo estamos? Hola. Mucho gusto. ¿Cómo están? Bien. Oh, bueno. Muy bien, muy bien. Y este bien. Es, es mi amigos en YouTube. Ah, muy bien. Es, es, es aquí. <laughs> Por favor. Sí, gracias. Sí, gracias. ¿Estás salvatoria? Hola. Bien. ¿No? It's handmade. For Salvatorian. Oh. And this is for your laptop. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. wow! Is that his uh -huh. name? Uh -huh. 
quedó a casa. Oh, Are you yeah. 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 You guys want to see what it feels like to be a uh, the minister of tourism? You gotta, you gotta go like this. <laughs> look at Kayla, you've never looked so professional before in your life. Wow. From, from, from living in a school bus to sitting at a big desk with a spinny chair. Yeah! <laughs> it was crazy. You know? I was just so nervous, I didn't know what to do. I just started spinning around in the chair. <laughs> she let us sit in her chair. Does she want to try to be a YouTuber for a minute? <laughs> as the as the minister of tourism, uh, what's something that she would want the people of other countries to know about El Salvador that they might not know? Bueno, le quisiera contar al mundo que realmente El Salvador es más de lo que se dice de él, que es un país hermoso, que tiene las mejores olas para surfear, que vengan a surfear a El Salvador y que además tenemos pueblos y colonias muy cerca en donde pueden venir a visitar y a conocer la historia del país. So you guys can see over here the surfboard because they're obviously It's my eh? It's my This is my your surf? board. You're yes, surfing. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Is for, uh -huh. yeah. so you, for can, you, can you teach me? Yes. <laughs> so if, I, if I start going under, you can pull me out. <laughs> uh, it's easy. It's yeah. sure it's easy. So for any of you guys that are surfers out there, Maybe you've been surfing that Cali break, or maybe you've been Hawaii break. Right now, Hawaii break. There's a new spot on the map that's popping up, and that's El Salvador. And you can come out and see views like this. And not only that, but just a whole country full of rich history. And what, it's only a couple hour flight. A couple hour flight away from the States, and you're here. This place is the best. <laughs> I love these people so much. Mucho gusto. Gracias. Adios. Salva, that was wild. Is this what happens? You just walk in places and they just give you gifts? Look at this guy. I feel like this is such an exciting time for El Salvador. You can just like feel it with like with all the, with how excited all the people are, and you can just feel like there's. Um, they're so proud and they're so proud of their new leader. They're so proud of the new direction of the country It's pretty cool to be around and it's pretty cool to be a part of and to meet the person who's You know trying to bring people from other countries here to experience this place and kind of to see what her mission is She's trying to do it through surfing is like one of the primary tactics, which I mean, it's pretty cool especially because she surfs herself So it's just kind of it's just kind of cool being a part of it all so now we're heading to the coast, we're heading to El Tunco, and it would only be right if we were going and eating papooses. So I guess we're gonna learn how to make some pupusas. And we got a professional over here and she definitely knows what she's doing. Okay. Uh, queso okay. So you do make queso? I'm doing queso. Oh, you guys know what queso does to my allergies. Let's do it. Okay. So pupusas are like the authentic El Salvadorian food. They are everywhere all over the country and uh, they're kind of, the best way I can describe them is they're like a stuffed taco Shell, like a stuffed soft taco. Saba, how would you explain a pupusa to someone who's never had one? The most delicious food ever, you're gonna try pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think it's like a stuffed tortilla? So it's like basically a tortilla, and then the big difference is that you put something inside. But the trick is that when you put things inside and you start like smashing it, 
all the ingredients have to be Ingredient all over spread. the place. Yeah. Right, let's see if Kay what Kaylee's got. What do you got in there? A little cheese? A little bit of cheese. A little bit of cheese. Yeah, look, you have to go to this shape and oh. flip it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 try it out. <laughs> 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 He's like lost I all the just... nerves on his fingertips. So technically you grab it with the, yeah, there you go. I mean, there are rules that you have to follow, but there you go. Sav is teaching us the authentic way to eat a pupusa. No fork and knife. Check it out, you guys. This is El Tunco at night. Little beach town, little surface town. I love it here. <laughs> we had to make a quick little escape because it was pouring and uh, I tried to get undercover real quick, but those pupusas were so good. I could see myself eating three or four of those a day and just never getting sick of it because <clears throat> you'll always film with different stuff. I know. Well, you guys, I just woke up Kaylee because she hopped in bed and fell asleep. No, I wasn't sleeping, but I was I was dozing. <laughs> but today was amazing. And I want to give a big, big thank you to so many people right now. So many Salvadorians to all the people we met today, to Salva, to... Basically all the Salvadorians out there. Yeah. This video... And all of the videos coming up are all for you guys. This is our way of saying thank you for all the love that we've gotten. It really means so much to us. We can't wait. We're so happy to be back in El Salvador and go explore some more nooks and crannies of El Salvador, El Salvador that we haven't seen yet and that we haven't explored yet. It feels good to be back. That's where we're going to let you guys go. We're going to hop in bed. We'll see you guys next time. Well, it wouldn't be a true adventure without a little bit of a detour. Just going for it. Come on, Salva!